Welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to explore how to improve the experience working with Windows Terminal for XM Cloud. Our target is to have on the one hand this beautiful sidecar colored theme in your terminal as well as whenever you are in a git controlled path we want to see what branch we're on. Um, then we want to have auto completion so whenever you start typing you get a list of previously used commands and uh, on the other hand we want to see like whenever we look into a directory we get highlighted certain types of uh, items meaning files or folders and get um, an according icon to it. My name is Sebastian Winter and I will show you in a demo what to do in order to improve the developer experience using Windows Terminal. So the first thing we're going to do is we're opening up the Microsoft Store to, um, to install Windows Terminal and uh, later on PowerShell. So let's search for Terminal and there we go. Let's install that one and while the application is downloaded, um, we'll probably have to wait. So let's see the result. Here we go. So here's our new uh, command line interface, the Windows Terminal, uh, which provides several options of approaching different tooling. So here's also already Windows PowerShell used from the installation we had before. Now, but what we want to have is we want to have a newer version of PowerShell and let's install that as well. So why so ever this is not displayed correctly, but we have an install button here and let's again wait until this package is installed. Right. So nothing has changed so far, so we have to restart the application. So let's search for the terminal and opens on the other screen. So what we can see is that the new PowerShell version has been added to our Windows Terminal and in order to make this one the default one we go to settings and uh, to startup and here we can basically select the one that we want to have from the startup. Save it and whenever we open now a new window we see from the icon and also from the naming that this is now our new PowerShell. As we've set up now Windows Terminal to use, to use the new PowerShell, um, we now go into the step of uh, making things pretty. So first thing we do now is we install a module called um, git posh, which is required for the oh my posh module that's basically doing the whole magic for us. And we trust that one. Here we go. So let's install um, all my posh on top of it. There we go. And last thing we have to install is the PS read line module. Also this one we trust. And there we go. Now let's get things started. Um, let's set the posh prompt and see if something changes. Yeah, it does. Well, that's not actually pretty. Uh, in order to make it more pretty, we have to install a dedicated font that contains all the glyphs that are usually used here uh, uh, at the edges of the colored areas as well as within. Um, so let's go to um, nerdfonts.com there we go uh, and to downloads and the one that I recommend to use because it contains all the glyphs that we need is the Cascadia Cov nerd font so you can download this one and install the font so let's quickly do that so here it is and let's install this. 
so that's fine. There are several ways of installing fonts. Um, this is one of them. Just double click and if you're working with two screens, then this warning opens up in the other screen. Probably not always. So last but not least, install. There we go. And while this has been installed, let's check our um, PowerShell again, go to settings. And here we can go to PowerShell, appearance, and we can select the font face that we want to use. So in our case, we want to use the newly installed Cascadia Carve Nerd Font or NF. Let's do that, save it, and you can instantly see that this is now looking much better than it did before. Um, now, what we see here is the actual um, out of the box um, Oh My Posh theme. So there are plenty of other themes that you can get by uh, using the get posh themes command. And it comes with some ASCII art and then it downloads now all the different themes that you can later on choose from. For example, if we want to if we want to switch our theme, for example, to one of the out of the box themes that's called Free Ukraine, then you just uh, do that, and it looks different with a complete different appearance as well as different informations that you get here. Right now, if we open another PowerShell tab, you see that all this is gone, and we have to have to revamp that um, and redo it. So in order to overcome that, um, we have to change the profile. To create the profile, um, we need to launch the profile uh, file. So let's take a look. Profile. So here we go. Um, you might be asked to create the file. So if that's not existent yet, so uh, that's what you would do. And if that fails, you need to check if the file is actually, ex uh, if the folder structure is actually existent where you need to find it. Um, so what we will put into the um, profile for now is um, we want to import on startup the module Oh My Posh and we want to set the theme to the Free Ukraine theme. So let's do that and uh, save it and open another another window and as you can see this is already starting up like that perfect so actually we want to use a sidecore theme what we will do is uh, we will create a new theme file and all of the themes are located here. So the path is, uh, well, it's in my user file and then in the app data local oh my posh themes. And here you have all the themes um, that you downloaded um, on the step before. Here is also the one that we are currently using, the Free Ukraine. And what we want to do is we want to use actually uh, our own theme. So I've created a sidecore theme that I'm just copying into that folder. What you can do uh, if you want to customize your theme, you can just take any of those as a startup and then style it accordingly. There we go. We we'll quickly take a look into what we'll see is that everything that we use uh, within the theme that displays our um, yeah, basically the appearance is structured into blocks. So it starts with an alignment left, which um, which means the first line here. Let me start with a fresh screen so you can do it. Uh, you can see it easier. So the first block that we have is aligned left and is the upper part here on the left side. Well, as the um, next block will be aligned right and is then this one. The third block will be the one um, here and then the last one will be the one here. So just quickly showing that. So we have alignment left, which is our first real block. I would say this is just a, um, the the general setting. 
and then um, we have all the colors defined and all the glyphs basically from our nerd font um, to display the different things that we have so if you want to go into that uh, you can redefine that quite easy now I said we want to make use of our um, of our custom theme instead of this one so what we need to do is uh, we need to change the uh, location or we need to change the theme being loaded here uh, from our profile so we will do that by using this command and we can comment the other one out so now it's as this is our theme location uh, we are loading now the sitecore omp.json configuration for our new theme let's save it let's open another one and see how that actually looks like well this looks like uh, sidecore colors right so um, right so the next thing we do is um, if I start typing the CLI commands for example like dot dot net sidecore cloud and so on you see that well we have to type a lot and we have to remember a lot so there is an uh, suggestion functionality based on the history and some some other commands so we want to make this work and also this is prepared already and downloadable I will provide you um, the link where to download that the path uh, where to find the profile is uh, under my uh, user path documents and then PowerShell and we have basically the Microsoft PowerShell profile file here so what I will do is I will exchange that with a prepared file and I show you in a minute what's in there so let me just exchange that yes replace it there we go let's have a look into that so as shown before I'm loading my custom theme which is the site called OMP and then I added um, several functionalities in order to make use of the autocomplete functionality so um, again I will let you know where to download this one as a starting point let's open another um, command prompt and see what actually has changed so if I start typing now you can see that as I've changed my profile um, I get now this um, auto completion from the history as a table um, below so I can select that with the arrow uh, keys of my keyboard um, or just um, continue typing and then have yeah basically a good auto completion uh, for all my commands overall I would say that's quite a good experience um, and uh, I hope that helps you get started with the Windows terminal as this is one of the tools that you will use um, when you interact with the XM cloud environment so as promised um, the files for the profile and the theme are open source so you can find that uh, at github and uh, just follow this path and uh, or use the QR code